we have an issue amongst black men because they stupid. Black men are stupid. Black men think that they are proving their manhood by being violent against each other, by calling each other gay. But then you were call that gay man. You spent hours apologizing to that gay man that you looked into his eyes and knew he was gay. Y'all do remember, the man said he looked into my eyes and he knew I was gay. But he apologized to me a year and a half after looking into my eyes and knowing I was gay. So if he looked into my eyes and knew I was gay when he first met me, why would he ever apologize to a gay man a year and a half later? Nobody, 5150 listeners won't even answer that question. They can't. If he knew I was gay when he first met me, why in the hell would he have apologized a year and a half later for anything? There would have been no reason for him to do this. It would have been kind of stupid. I knew this guy was gay. I knew this guy was phony, but I'm going to go and apologize to the gay phony dude. I tried to steal the other dude from Zoe who gives him no money by giving him some money because he had no job. Yeah, that's a, I'm an evil person. You right, Jeff. I was being really evil when you kept calling me. I was so evil. And how dare I, when you keep calling me, asking me when can you start on my website, and I say, I'm going through some shit right now, but when I get myself together, we'll start this thing up. And you take that as going to tell people, I was going to commit suicide over a white chick, and the other one says, and he gay. That's what you got out of that, Jeff. You needed to say that, Jeff, because I said something about Zoe not having a car, because Zoe said I was harassing a bitch. Jeff, you ain't no kind of man, and I can see why you've been married three times. You are no kind of man. You are pathetic man that you did what you did you look like a stupid ass dude while you were sitting there you look like an idiot everything about you went from you used to look like a man that might have had some sense when i was even looking at his body language when y'all looked at, uh, at, at at his body language it didn't even make sense He's all squished down in his chair. He got his thing on his head. Now all of a sudden he's trying to look thuggish. Y'all just go back and look at it. It looked, he, he didn't even look like a man. He looked like a boy. A boy that was going along with what his friends was doing. His friends was doing something and he just had to go along. Like he really wanted to put up a sign that said, help me, save me. I've been abducted. Y'all are some 50 year old grown ass men. Jeff Brown, you should be embarrassed. Jeff Brown, you should be quite embarrassed, but you're not embarrassed because y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all were a group of ain't shit niggas that unified on the fact that y'all ain't shit and decided to try and fool the rest of the world by talking about shit that you could not put into practice. One of them talking about, I got this book, and I'm reading this book, and I'm writing this book, and this nigga ain't got no car. The other one talking about, so this nigga was sad over his girlfriend. Nigga, you got three wives. You a grown-ass man telling me to go to your Facebook page and look at some fine chicks that you used to fuck. I remember sitting there listening to this dude's conversation when he called me. Yeah, Tommy, uh, uh, I was fucking some fine chicks, though. Tommy, go fuck that man. You know what? Let me tell you something. Go, go. You on Facebook right now. You on Facebook? Go look up this name. It's an actual conversation that Jeff Brown had with me. You on Facebook? Go look up this name. This I used to fuck this one. Look at this. I used to fuck this one. A 50-year-old man trying to prove to me who he used to fuck. And I just sat there and I didn't look up none of them. I just said, mm. I had some bad bitches in my day. I had some bad bitches, Nick. You're 50 years old. You're married. Why are you telling me that you had some bad bitches? What is the point? Is it, what is it proving to me? You know what? Why don't you come and pick me up, man? And I'll take you to go. I, I, come pick me up, man. I'll take you to go get some uh, clothes shopping. That cheer you up, man. That's what you come. Hey, come pick me up. I'll take you to go clothes shopping, man. That cheer you up. It always cheered me up. So to my yard, what's up? He called me and picked up the phone. So to my yard, what's up? I'm not, man. I'm just saying, I'm just chilling. Uh, hey, man. Uh, I said, when, when are we going to do that, man? You know, I got a lot of shit going on. Well, let, let me come pick you up, man. We go, uh, you come pick me up and we go clothes shopping. That always that shit me up. Go get you a couple suits, get you looking nice. I'll even let you go over to my tailor, you know, get you looking nice. We'll we, we, we be good, man. Now, all of a sudden, you tell people, he was suicidal, man. But you called me saying, hey, man, and, and guess what, Jeff? I didn't come get you, did I? Not once did I come get you, did I? Nope. Because I didn't want to go clothes shopping. Because that's what whores do when they say. That's what whores do when they say. Whores get with other whores and go clothes shopping. Not no grown ass men. So however sad I was, I didn't go with your punk ass to go clothes shopping. Because I didn't think clothes shopping would fucking make me happy. Even though that's what you thought would make me happy. That's what you are. Not let's go play some ball, nigga. Not let's go shoot the gun at some targets. You said let's go clothes shopping. Now, let me ask you something. Have I ever lied on you, Zoe, or Corey? When I roast Corey or you or anybody else, guess what I ain't got to say? Shit that ain't true. 
And it's still fun because I don't believe in having to run around and question a man's sexuality that I was just hanging out with because I don't think it makes sense. When you offer me to go buy clothes, I just didn't go. I don't know if you're gay or not. I just know I ain't going to buy clothes with you. I didn't know if Tyreek was gay or not. I just asked a question about hidden colors. His gayness had nothing to do with me because I hadn't been exposed to him enough. I thought that the faces he made was really weird, but he's a grown-ass man. Maybe that's what people like. I don't know. Why would I give a shit if he's gay or not? He's not coming at me. I didn't give a shit about Zoe. Zoe didn't have no car. He didn't have no gravitas. I never dealt with Zoe. I realized there's something wrong with Zoe, but I didn't say anything bad about him. Left him alone. He needed a ride back and forth to the studio. I'd give it to him because I'd do that for anybody. But I would never sit up there and give Zoe two, two damn cents of mine that I thought I was going to get back. The dude is 50 with no car. The dude talk about how handsome he is and all that handsome green-eyed lightness got you nowhere. And then want to sit up there. This nigga jealous because he dog scared. Yeah. He jealous because he dog scared. Corey. I had no idea Corey Zokin was light. I had no idea Corey Hogan was light skinned. Nigga jealous cause he dog skinned. A grown man with a 19 year old kid talking like he was talking. A man who sat there and tried to tell y'all about how he's got the Zen stuff going and, you know, and then you go deeper. That guy got on the internet and after he called on my show and said, oh, I don't do that. He, um, while he was on my show, he said, oh, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. I'm gay, but he always telling some man to go deeper. Mm. Mm. Look, man, I don't do that. I'm a grown man. I won't go off on you on the internet and raise and yell my voice. I just come see you. Y'all remember those was his exact words. I'm a grown man. I won't raise my voice and yell on the internet. I'll just come see you. Well, you remember he did understand that he didn't have no car, so he said, I'll wait for you to come to my city. How many of y'all have noticed all the thugs that want to beat me up want me to come to them? All the thugs that want to beat me up need me to get in a plane or a car and make my way to them in order to get beat up. At what point do we stop fighting people? At what point do we stop as grown men talking about beating somebody up? We got grandkids. We got kids and grandkids, wives and careers, but we still talking about beating each other up. So why is it that we as black people have gravitated towards this thug life? Can anybody tell me why? Can I live my life? Freddie Frost, thank you for the donation. Freddie say, good topic, love you. Love you back, uh, brother. Terrence Jones, who? Terrence Jones out of Memphis 10, thank you for the donation. Richard Ruffin. Ain't got no money. Ain't got no fancy car. 